Xiaomi launches Mix Fold 4 and Mix Flip Foldables, Titanium Xiaomi Watch S for Sport unveiled, Xiaomi Band 9, and Buds 5 Tack Along. Xbox fans demand sale of Deadpool as controller, Apple's anti-chrome campaign and Google's response, Apple intelligence may not boost iPhone 16 sales as hoped. Xiaomi has officially launched two new foldable devices in China, the Mix Fold 4 and the Mix Flip. The Mix Fold 4 features a 6.56-inch external display and a 7.98-inch internal display, both with 120Hz refresh rate, 3000 nit peak brightness, HDR10 Plus certification, and Dolby Vision support. It is super slim, with a thickness of 9.47mm when folded and 4.59mm when unfolded, and weighs 226 grams. It has an updated hinge for up to 500,000 folds and an IPX8 water and dust resistance rating. The internals include a cool calm Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 processor, 12 and 16 GB RAM, 256, 512 GB and 1 TB UFS for 0 storage, and a 5100 mAh battery, supporting 67W wired and 50W wireless charging. The inner display has an under-display selfie camera, and the rear camera has a Leica-branded quad camera setup. The Mix Flip is Xiaomi's first clamshell phone, with a 4.01-inch cover display and a 6.86-inch inner display. It weighs 192 grams and is 15.99 mm thick when closed. It is powered by the Coolcom Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 processor, 12 16ths of a gigabyte RAM and up to 1TB of UFS for 0 storage. The battery is for 1780mAh, with 67W wired charging but no wireless charging. It has a 50MP main sensor, a 50MP 2x telephoto, and a 32MP selfie camera. Both devices come in black, white, blue, and a special composite fiber variant. The Mix Fold for starts at CNY 8999 for the 12 GB, 256 GB variant, while the Mi Flip starts at CNY 5999 for the 12 GB, 256 GB variant. There is no information about a potential global launch yet. Xiaomi CEO Lei Jun showcased a range of new wearables at the annual event. The Xiaomi Watch S for Sport is a premium watch priced at CNY $2,275, featuring a titanium body, sapphire glass, and a choice of for straps suitable for different sports. It can dive up to 40 meters, has been tested by Potty, and received an EN13319 diving certification. It also supports 5G and SS constellations, has offline map capability, and eSIM. The watch has a 1.43 inches old display with a peak brightness of 2200 nits and a 586 ma battery, offering up to 15 days of battery life. The heart rate and blood oxygen sensor on the back is protected by sapphire glass, and the onboard and FC can act as car keys on select vehicles. The Xiaomi Band 9 starts at $35 for the base model, with the NFC version costing $42. It comes in for colors and has a metal body. With a ceramic special edition available for $48, the band promises up to 21 days of battery life with always-on display mode enabled for up to 9 days. It features a linear motor, 20 vibration modes, and an improved heart rate sensor accuracy by 16% compared to the previous generation. It also works with the Peking University Third Hospital for better sleep breathing issue detection, and the NFC version can act as car keys. The Xiaomi Buds 5 use a semi near design, weigh only 4.2 grams each, and last for 6.5 hours per charge 39 hours with the case. They support Qualcomm's Aptex lossless audio codec, have been tuned by the Harman AudioFX team, and feature active noise cancellation, a noise reduction for calls with three microphones, spatial audio, and multi-point connectivity. The buds are rated IP54 and priced at CNY $797. Xbox fans are accustomed to Microsoft making cool custom Xbox controllers and consoles available only through social media competitions instead of selling them to the public. The latest example is an Xbox controller shaped like Deadpool's S, which is being offered as a prize to one competition winner. To enter, 
Fans aged 18 plus worldwide need to follow Xbox on X and retweet the official sweepstakes tweet. Many fans are frustrated by this and believe the controller would sell well if it were available for purchase. They have expressed their willingness to buy it on social media. However, given Microsoft's fondness for exclusive sweepstakes and the social media engagement it generates, it is unlikely that the company will change its approach. As a result, the controller is likely to end up being sold for a high price on eBay. Apple and Google have a complex relationship, and Apple's latest ad seems to target Chrome. Currently, 30% of iPhone users use Chrome as default, and Google aims to increase this to 50%. Apple is acting as it doesn't want to lose its majority in iPhone browser usage. Chrome has issues like a high number of tracking cookies and the not-so-private incognito mode, while Safari offers better privacy features by default. A Google spokesperson said Chrome is built to keep data safe and gives users control. Whether people will ditch Chrome is uncertain. Current users may have accepted the cookie issue, but new or unaware users might be scared into switching. Apple analyst Ming-Chi Kuo says Apple hasn't increased iPhone 16 orders. Evidence includes TSMC reporting no increase in unit growth and Largan stating that 2020 for high-end model orders are similar to last year. Kwa believes the iPhone 16 orders for the second half of 2024 are around 87 million units, lower than the 91 million iPhone 15 units ordered in 2023. Kwa suggests that expectations that Apple intelligence will drive iPhone 16 sales may be too optimistic. The feature is currently available in US English only and in beta for US users into H24. It requires an iPhone 15 Pro or later. And Apple has no ideal for Chinese consumers or for the European Union with iOS 18 launch. The new capabilities of Apple intelligence include writing tools, image generation, and custom emoji creation, but the new Siri functionality isn't until 2025.